Alright guys, what is going on? Um, it is a bit of a different setup. I'm not sat at my desk today, but you still have some cards in the background. You've got the sweet room that we pulled last week, and then a beautiful little slow potent side dodge as well. As you can see in front of you, there's about 11 packs. It's an absolute concoction of packs. There's all sorts of stuff in there. I'm pretty sure there's like one break pack, some sun and moon packs, all sorts of stuff. So the idea is we're gonna rip through these, we're gonna see what happens. Fingers crossed we pull some rainbows. Um yeah, and we'll see what happens and we'll take it from there. Um so I shall see you guys in a moment. Alright, so packs have been shuffled just for the sheer fact that we can make the random well, as random as possible. So we will start with the first pack. And we've got a little Leo. Is it called? A little Leo, my apologies. Got a Fennekin, Esper, a, a Flaby, however you want to pronounce it, a Jupinda. And what are we starting with? A, 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 a Fefu. Okay. Well, that's not the ideal start for the day. Nothing in the rest of this pack. That would be nice if it was a hollow, but we'll, we'll see what happens for the rest of it. We're only just starting off. You've got to have hope. Same as the last video though as well, the online codes, if you do want any of them, send me a message on Instagram and I will divulge them if I already have them. Or if I still have them. So, patch number two, this was a breakthrough pack, so fingers crossed, a, a break card. Pikachu, Mandamite. I, I don't know why they did these weird little clay knitted things, but we've got a Snubble, a Remoraid, a Duduo. Really? This is how tonight's trying to go. So, Duduo number one, <laughs> Duduo number two. Okay. This may not be the night that we want. Arimatiz, a Heavy Ball, a Fracture, and a Float Stone. Moving on to the second one. Which is a Steam Siege. I really hope we get some decent balls. Last week's was ridiculously good. It really was. Really? You're gonna be this awkward just to open? Yep, partially. And there we go. We are starting off with a Drifloon, Apon, a Larvester. Dino, a Shellos, and I've got a bad feeling about this one as well. I'm not sure what. It's not as bad as the last one. It could have been better. I've allowed a Claw Fossil, a Jewot, and a Braviary. These really aren't doing well. We're already about three deep, and we've only had the one decent pull. And it's only because it's a bit of a weird looking fur fruit. However, you want to pronounce that. Some packs open, some packs open. And this one being a normal Sun and Moon pack. So, we got a Snubble, Windle, Lillipup, Cosmod, a nice little Rowlet card, a Boulder, okay. We've got a Boulder and a Digilith, both hollow. It's not too bad. I'm not so much of a fan of the Boulder, but it's quite a nice Digilith. Nothing too extreme, but I'll definitely take that. A Tarot Cat, a Crushing Hammer, and a Poliwell as well. Alright, so I'm guessing that if you've seen the video from a couple of weeks back, at this point, you guys know that's not the drinks. Your boy gets a very dry mouth very quick. So, starting off in this pack, didn't even look what it was. Fingers crossed we got something decent. Got a Phoebus, a Tarot Blast. I do, I'm not gonna lie, I do like the weird little animation ones. A Gendermo O, a Mankey, Remoraid again. Hey, we got the Tarot Blast in Hollow, that's not too shabby. Ooh, and a Hollow Xerneas as well, like, to be fair. I don't pull a lot of Xerneas, but that's really nice. I like the iridescence on that. <laughs> that might be. That might be one to do on display, I won't lie. I'm thinking about changing over the ones I have out on display. And there was nothing else in the rest of that pack, but 
I'd say that's the best pull so far. It's not a card I've seen an awful lot of, but I will definitely take that. And... What do we have in this one, if it would like to open? We have a Forbidden Light. So fingers crossed, it'll hold some forbidden contents. So, we are starting off with a Bunnelby. A T-Bone looking for its mother. A Magnemite again. Binnacle. Flavy again. Okay, a Pandora. Is this a double hollow? It is, and we got a Doodra. So a Pandora, it's not too bad. Not a whole lot going on with it, but it's definitely a nice card. Same for the Doodra, a nice little hollow. Not a whole lot going on with it, but I'll definitely take that. Yeah, now that I looked at it, it's not too bad. Once again, not a big fan of Doodra, though. So the only downside to that card. Did is be Ultra Root one card and a Helio List. Let's see the next pack. I'm pretty sure we've only got five left. Yeah, we're down to five. So here we got a Sun and Moon Burning Shadows. And let's break into this. Do I think it will go well? You never know. You never know. I'm really failing with opening these today. Is that a cute fly to start? Oh, you never, you, you never want to see that. So, we got a Tutify. Of course, he always makes up for it. Ladybug. A Lone Grimer. I have far too many of those. A Ryolu. And the Hollow was a Totemaru, which isn't too bad. We got a double Hollow again. So, a Totemaru. I quite like that. I liked the uh, Electric Hollows. They got a fun tea pattern behind them all. So that's definitely a nice card. Then the Lightroom Rock. I'm not sure which form, but definitely... I, I prefer that to the total mark, really. I like the iridescence on that one again. Uh, I can't see it from here. It is... Yeah, I can't see what form it is. And then we got a Rombi, a Jalia, and a Livia as well. Overall, not bad. The Lycan Rock was definitely nice. See, I like the patch that feel thick. Like, you can tell which ones feel thick. If you collect Pokemon cards, you know which ones feel thick. And I'm dropping cards. So, we got a Stuffle, a Aloha Sandshrew, a Totony, a Bellsprout as well, Glidor, a nice little Machop. Definitely not the best card, but <laughs> we got another double hollow. What is going on with these tonight? So, Machop, I've not seen this design before, but I do quite like it. It's not too shabby. And then the Hollow Politoed. I won't lie, I'm a huge fan of Politoed. Because when I was a kid, I could never get it in the games because I had nobody to trade with. Fun fact, very pointless, but I hope you enjoy it. Got a Field Blow, a Dothorita, and a Energy. So, how many packs are we down to? We have three left. I won't lie, I'm gonna try and burn through these without taking a drink. Is my mouth dry? Yes, extremely. But we will survive. We will go on. So, we got Tar Chip. I'm pretty sure I've already got that card. Spinarak. I love this, which nobody wants to see. <laughs> Another Tar Chip. I like that one. I also got a little bit of a funky design. Bird on. And what's a hollow? A hollow Kyogre? Okay. I was tempted to put one of them on. We got double hollows again. So, we got the hollow Kyogre. It's definitely a nice card. I like the pattern on that again. Plenty of iridescence. It's got a sick picture on it. And Steelix. Plenty of iridescence. Quite nice, quite clean. Bland picture, but definitely nice. And for the rest of it, we got an Energy, Fidoroff, a Nuzleaf, and a Fremble. And then we have another Sun and Moon pack. Which, give me a second. We are starting with a Crab Roller, a Inke, a Ladybug, a Sandy Dust, a cute little Chatterpeat card, 
I me mean, after taking a stroll. He's just chilling. Beware. That's the first time we've not had a double hollow in quite some time. A Metapod, a Lana, and an Electabuzz as well. Not too bad, not too bad. However, the last pack for the night. We have a Celestial Storm, Jirachi on the front. I'm not sure what you can even get in these, but we've not had a rainbow tonight. And I may keep on doing this until we get a rainbow. So, a Lone Rattata, a Skitty, a Seedor, a Low Ted. Hold him, not bad. A Matoto Hollow, okay, it's not bad. Ooh, okay, that's a nice double hollow to get. So, Matoto, it's, it's not the fanciest, but nice and clean, bright colours. I'll take that. And then the Deoxy. Now that's a funky hollow. That's definitely a fun tea hollow. Just the way it kind of changes colour. Definitely a fan of that. Once again, that might be the best card, and it's the one that we end on. Energy card, energy recycle, a shrine of punishment. Okay, sure, whatever you guys say, Pokemon, have fun with that. But I will be back in a moment. We will do a recap, and then we will take it from there, guys. Alright, you guys know me. Like I said, I'm not even gonna lie, I like my breaks. In between the last recording and doing this review, it's been half an hour and I've just been sat on my floor. Why? No reason. I'm lazy. I liked it. Anyway, so I also worked out that we got 17 hollows out of 11 packs. I will take them odds. I like those double hollows. Anyway, we have the Pandora, which is pretty cool. It's a sick little design. We have the funky little animated Gudra, the Lycan Rock, which is really cool. I like the iridescence behind it. Totemora, solid. Machop, a really cool Machado. I mean, I've taken a stroll, lucky guy. A Oshawa, which I'm, I'm not really a fan of. We got the Jigglyph and the Boulder. And then the Furfro, which is what we started with, with the pink design, Politoed. The Steelix, and this is where we start getting into the dirt stuff. And my Discord goes off. So we got a pretty cool Steelix. We got a Sit Deoxys. A Xerneas, which might be my favourite pull. It's between these two. I'm not 100% sure. I will have to figure that one out at a later date. Uh, Tyoda. And then a Carablast. As I dropped the card. But there's Carablast as well. I don't know why. I like the way it looks. I like the background on it. I like the picture. It's just a funky overall card. I will do a little bit of research. I will be back in a minute. And I will try and get some prices for the most expensive ones. I will be back in a moment. So. I've not been here for half an hour this time. Good news to start with. However. I can't really find a price on any of the ones that we pulled up today, which I won't complain about, some nice little collectors there. Um, so instead you guys are seeing probably the two favourites of the pull, the Kyogre and the Deoxys. Um, if you guys have enjoyed the video, please be sure to like and subscribe. I do also stream some Pokemon, CSGO, anything and anything on Twitch, that's at RiseMBK, and it's the same on Instagram as well. So I shall see you guys later, have a good day.